when rules I won't hear it open the door how do I know stillness means end or is danger just You're um, getting like water on your sofa. Shit. Right. Uh, I should change. Um. Be right back. Just need to go upstairs and put on something dry. Sophie's so poised. If she's feeling anything like I am, I sure can't tell. Hey, weren't you gonna get changed? Right. I moved my evidence box to this timeline to avoid Alderman. I never thought I'd have to keep it from Sophie, too. Come on, Sophie. I would have thought you had more respect for art. Is it still destruction of property if what you're tossing around are the books you lent me? Guess I could only hide my past for so long before Sophie took matters into her own hands. for the ages.
I've kept plenty of secrets from Safi as well. Oh, don't worry, Safi. I will. I liked it better when Sophie and I broke into places together. All that adrenaline, I didn't realize I was cold till now. I just need some dry clothes. I have so much I want to ask Safi about. I don't even know where to start. An unbroken, fully locked door. Didn't stop Alderman, though. God, that smells amazing. I haven't had pancakes in a million years. Johnny cakes, actually. I used to skip school sometimes and make them with my grandma. And they're made with real Johnny? <laughs> you are so annoying. No, they are not. And they go best with mulberry jam. Oh no. Only got grape. Then I guess you'll have to make it up to me. Alternate Max's life seems so uncomplicated. Unless that's also a shape-shifted Sophie. <laughs> nah, Sophie can't cook. On this side, the memories are shut up where they belong. You do not know the bullet you dodged last night.
talk about this. Security footage of someone who looks like me dealing with students. So hey, sport? Hello. You walk past me without saying hello? The shit Robbie says I told him is it, it makes me sick to think about. Me and Safi just outed each other. What now? Whatever we say tonight could change everything between us. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Is it still destruction of property if what you're tossing around are the books you lent me? There's so much we don't know about each other. So, you're what a shapeshifter. You've got powers? powers? Oh. Here. Person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Huh. Clever little minx, you. <laughs> hmm. Deal. Let's play. How exactly do you shape shift? It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it, wow. Yup, still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa, it's like she walked across my brain for a second. <laughs> oh. So, are you like that girl in Frozen? Ice powers and musical numbers. No. There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I am um, switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one, except... You're... dead. Okay. Gonna 
Need a moment with that one. This you? Were you gonna say something? Sorry. At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh, unless I can figure out why and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. That was you impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. Your book deal. When I got the news, it was canceled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it too. That's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it? I wanted to wait till I got more information. You've got my number, Max. <laughs> we could have shared intel. Seriously, Max, I thought you were covering for Gwen. Thought I couldn't trust you anymore. But actually, I was just trying to prevent your murder in another timeline. Yeah, that's <laughs> honestly a relief. <sighs> Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. Robbie had nothing to do with his dad's shitty actions, though. I weighed how best to hurt Lucas. Robbie was the only way. I don't know. What about shape-shifting into Moses? No. He's off limits. Not that I couldn't, but, you know, it's Moses. So, that was actually you trying to get into Vin's phone. 
Mm. If anyone deserves an acting award, it's me. I thought he was just trying to get rid of anything tying him to the cow skull fiasco. So that was him. Guess he's still not over me. Nothing says, take me back, like, vandalism. Kids don't spray paint their names in hearts anymore. There was a moment talking to Amanda today that felt a little different. Look, you were snooping around. I needed to know why. It was... Self-defense. Your impression of Amanda? <laughs> I have some notes. <laughs> Good enough to fool most people. I thought you were most people. I guess I should let you ask me something now. My mom, she can wait. So, you said something about traveling back to a moment? Can you clarify? The truth is, in my teens, I could rewind time. Shit. Time travel too? You really white privilege into all the cool powers? You'd think so. But rewinding was... Way, way too much responsibility. Control z your way through adolescence? Literally the worst years of life? <laughs> that's not a responsibility, that's a dream. Mm. Until it isn't. And then your whole life is a nightmare. My turn again, huh? <laughs> How long have you had your power? Uh, since high school? Right after dad left. Mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. That was a project. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's a lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. God, I remember wishing <laughs> so much I could just be the way she wanted me, magically, instead of struggling all the time and still falling short. Then I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight. Then, one day, I could. All right, so you used to time travel and now you can switch timelines? What, what changed? You know that blue-haired girl? That was my fault. She died, shot and bleeding out on the floor of our high school bathroom, all alone. All alone.
alone except for me. The one person who could have helped her. Stuck powerless behind a stall a few feet away. Shit, Max. I saw the article in your memories box. You can't blame yourself for... I can't. My powers created a storm. Literally, I mean. And I had a choice. Save my town or save her. I chose Arcadia Bay. I didn't try to rewind again for years. Not until I got here, when other you died, I learned that my powers had changed, that I had. By the way, Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Well, not everything. He knows about me and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Vin's statement. Bingo. He was supposed to be Maya's friend. But Caledon said jump. At least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. That poetry became all the daughters we don't talk about. Your book. Yep. And at the 11th hour, she got cold feet. Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet, and she protected Lucas. We've talked it through a little since then. I don't hold it against her. Not really. I'm hazy on the connection between all this and your book. Every piece in that collection was about Maya. Or about what happened to her. Guess I told it a little too clearly. 
when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. Gwen, Lucas, Finn, your revenge tour. My justice tour. Safi, what if, what if that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What? This photo? That I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great! Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. I don't understand how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? start. <laughs> I trust you, Max Caulfield. Enough for both of us. But Safi, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas. Justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. Book is, you aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. We've got powers and we've got proof. Krampus on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And he'll be expecting a mock trial. He won't be expecting us. <sighs> Wanna nail a smug asshole to the wall? I've never wanted anything more. I hear a crampus, but shit. <laughs> I'm still really. Safi has powers. She can literally nudge people's brains to see what she wants them to see. And Lucas, you can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. And Maya will get the justice she deserves. Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager. It's not really giving me the cheery holiday feels that I expect this time of year. Why not? The guy with the tongue carries a bag. Just like Santa. Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No, 
The plan is, when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out the toothless slideshow with mine. Spin all day on it. It's got all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage, in front of everyone. What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. I can't promise, but you have me, other Moses, and two powers between us. That's a lot in our favor. It's kind of bullshit it takes that much to tell the truth. So, how do we pull this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up, Ben. He's the MC tonight. So we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? Ben and I have history. And that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do. But I doubt she'd listen to me. I'll talk to her. Great. Let me know when you're done. Enjoy the party! <laughs> Operation Expose Lucas is a go. I like that it leans. Gives it character. drinks and alcohol. What could go wrong? So all it took to be seen as an Abraxan was a silly little pin. Hey, what's her no assassin tip? Pin my little classy. in the wild. Say cheese, Krampus. One more beanie and this thing's a goner. Guest of dishonor if I have anything to do with it. Sorry, Gwen. I'll probably have to bother you anyway.
heavy is the head that wears the Krampus horns? This is the projector. Looks expensive. There's so much to do tonight. I'd love getting any one of these. better be making a fortune in tips. I love what you've done with the place. Can't wait to take all this shit down. Abraxas's idea of holiday decor does not line up with mine. I'm surprised you let them do anything. You're kind of a control freak. I am not. It's just my bar. <laughs> Whatever, shoo, go enjoy the party. So bossy. It's beginning to look a lot like Krampus. Yeah, no, I should change the framing. You know you're gonna drop out. Why do you need his advice? There. Yeah, this works much better. I hope Sophie can convince Vin to help us. Ew, is this Latin? Why? Ew, is this Latin? Why? This Moses isn't in on the plan. Hey guys. Max. 
Hey. be a downer but things are looking good for you diamond that's because i am playing the long game you know there's only two more rounds right this game is impossible i'm gonna check out more of the party see you guys still need to talk to gwen we're all for charisma Sorry, Amanda. This place is gonna be a mess by the end of the night. Moses insisted on being here tonight to support us, even though he won't see any of it. Hey, Moses. How's your first Krampus? It's the oddest shit I've ever seen in my life, which is saying something. I usually hate parties, but Krampus is always fun. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Did you guys figure out a plan? Yeah, I'm making the slideshow happen and Safi's working on Vin. Cool, let me know if I can help somehow. For sure. It's not you, it's me. I just don't understand. Everything was going so well. That's adorable. No, I told you. After Safi died. I guess Lakeport will have to find another bar to wet their whistle. I can't believe this. Yeah, sucks, bro. My assassin ambushed me. He was Oh, this looks cool. Wonder if Diamond's making another film. Wait. I used to love this game. Not exactly the right age group for this crowd. Just one. Hate it when that happens. I did you a favor. Bullshit. Guess no one was up for going out tonight. College students love to barter. Move over, quick! Whoa, did you steal that thing? I'm borrowing him? Um, why? He told me he wanted a selfie. I'd ask Mr. Krampus for another photo, but we've got more important things to worry about right now.
Amanda is not as busy here. Amanda is not as busy here. Ready for the school year to be over? Damn. This year has felt like a string of endless Mondays. You'll be here? I'll be in and out. Don't have too much fun. Let me know if it works. Let's see if Reggie's got the right stuff. This one first, then you can play that one. And then a red card, right? You got it. This has to be the nerdiest picture I've taken all year. Reggie looks nervous already. He might be a liability. Hey, Reggie. You manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting, more like. The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if someone kept an eye on her at all times. Oof. Not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about... Helping us pull a prank on someone. We need to use the projector. Oh, uh, I, I, um, I don't, I actually, I don't think that that's, uh, that, uh, <clears throat> Just testing you. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job. 
count on must appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm paying all the bills with all this appreciation. <laughs> okay, Reggie's not going to cut it. But if something went wrong with that projector, and Moses was the only one who could fix it, How can I make sure I only break it in a way that this Moses can fix? I need to make sure Moses is running this for the roast. I should let Moses have a little more time with Diamond before I drag him into things. We're going to need help from Dead World Moses after all. Sorry, Max. One second. We have to recount this turn. Just trust me, dude. Ah, this is the wholesome Christmas content I came for. Hold on, hold on. I'm about to win. She's not. Thank goodness for Dead World Moses. Okay, I've got to go talk to him. If anyone can convince Vin to do this, it's Safi. It's good to see Gwen here. Of everything. Hey, just the troublemaker I wanted to see. Me? Really? Yeah, you were right. That security footage was weird. I showed it to the board. And? Didn't make a fucking ounce of difference. Got fired anyway. Sophie's power over perception in others seems to imprint on objects as well. Oh, Gwen. I'm so sorry. So, is... is that what you came over here for? Sophie has a plan to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible if someone from the faculty backed us up. I hadn't realized how much fight I'd lost until that hearing today. I forgot how much better it feels to stand for something. Fuck it. I'm in. Thank you, Gwen. Really. So, uh, when does this all go down? Don't worry. You won't miss it. Sophie's as subtle as a flying brick. Trust me, Lucas. We're gonna roast you until only ashes are left.
Come back later, Max. We're in the thick of it. I need some projector expertise. Good thing I know two Moseses. sure Moses is running this for the roast. require Mosai assistance. I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. I was thinking if something went wrong with it. So it's gotta go wrong in a way that's right for me to fix it. Exactly. Do you know which projector it is? Reggie called it Olga? Olga can be particular. If you go to the other side and listen, I can walk you through jamming it from here. You might be better at my powers than me. Probably. <laughs> Come back and let me know if it works, okay? I will. Better get into position. I don't want to miss Moses' instructions. now or never, Max. Go mess with that projector. of encouragement or contender for worst pickup line? Sorry, Reggie. We're going to have to get rid of you. I need Reggie's eyes off that projector long enough for me to get my hands on it. Huh. They're chummy. Maybe Diamond can help me out.
Reggie's officially distracted. I should be good to go now. I hope Moses is ready on the other side to give me instructions. That would have distracted me too. Maybe Reggie did see her and she had to talk to him? Okay, how long would that take? Max, you there? Okay, let's see Max. what Moses has to say. If you're there, start by opening the control hatch. It should be on the right side. You mean there are more controls? You mean there are more controls? You feel kind of like a spy. Do you feel like a spy? Oh, Moses. Okay, Max, you back? If yes, switch the focus mode to me. If no, I... If no, I'm not really sure. Just... Keep talking to myself, I guess. So far, so good. What's my next step? Shouldn't take too long, right? Click one switch. Yeah. Max, next, make sure the focus dial is turned all the way to the left. needs to be a little more to the left. This looks like it's in the right spot. I'm giving you an extra second or two. Probably turn the knob all the way to the right at first by mistake. Hey. All right, Max. Final step. Just hit calibrate. After a few seconds, you should hear the motor stick. I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, Elda. Sorry, Reggie, but this is one omelet we have to make. No, 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 shit. Oh, what is happening, oh God? to make sure Moses is running this for the roast. Right. Reggie never gave me a puzzle box in this reality.
Let me know if it works. Time for Moses to save the day. Let me know if it works. I think she's finicky, but she's just... Rain check? Sure. Duty calls. Hey, Reggie, I found help. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. <laughs> Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it from here. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, Max. You sure? Think about what's best for all. No offense, Richie. Well, I'm taken. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Thanks, Moses. You saved my life. <laughs> you're being all maxi. What's afoot? Me and Safi are hijacking the roast tonight. And we need your help to run this slideshow instead. I should talk to the other Moses. It worked. Other you is in place and ready to go. Nice. Where'd you get this house? Aren't they from the party? Amanda saved me a kid. She knew Safi and I really got into it last year. Last piece. Oh, damn. Chimney broke. <sighs> Wonder how it tastes. I bet I can find an extra chimney on the other side. Just... Just hang on. I should talk to Safi and get the roast going. Sophie, that everything's ready.
How are the discussions about our issues on campus going so far? Much better than expected. It being final week means a lot of our colleagues are playing. Can I borrow a second for a sec? What's up? So, Other Moses is also making a gingerbread house. Oh, is he? Yeah, but his chimney broke. Mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really? He's coping. My powers have been blowing his mind, but he misses you. I wish I could help him somehow. Moses is the only one I do this for. <sighs> this was a doozy to make. Voila. Guess who it's from. It's for real? From the other side, from Safi. Thank you, Max. If anyone can convince Vin to do this, it's Safi. We're ready to go. Is he... Part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. Great. Gwen's on board too. Damn. <laughs> Hope it's not for nothing. Why? What's going on? Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. 
He's out of the patio freaking out. He's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight. I guess he's worried it's too good to be true. Okay, so what do we do? Better be quick. Guy's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck. I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. Good luck. What's she doing? Is that Safi? Yep. <laughs> That's definitely Safi. I'd better go back up Safi out on the patio. A few teeny tiny questions. Sunk! <laughs> Drink up, baby! How are you so good at this? Where I grew up, there was nothing to do but drink and set shit on fire. You strip poker next? You're a menace to society. Ah, that Finn chose Smash too. Uncanny how much Sophie looks like Loretta here. I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I've talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? Critics rarely understand genius when it first appears. That's very kind of you, Max. And very true. It's been years since Water Beast was published. Have you settled for an early retirement? Wilder Beast Cindy's was a triumph. It doesn't matter if he never comes up with another idea in his life. Uh, but of course, I still have plenty of ideas. Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you could be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right, sure. Nice work, Loretta. Thanks for your time, Professor. For a moment there, it almost seemed like you were trying to insult me. No, of course not. Well, anyway... Thanks, Max. That young woman was aggressive. Part of being famous, right? I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You? On your big night? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. 
He was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. <sighs> Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. Colmenero. Great job, partner. Although, I thought you were gonna puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Ew, what the fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. Sophie, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max. You might shoot me. Lucas might shoot me. America has a problem. I told you, Max. I trust you. Here. I'll hold on to it. Happy? Thanks. It's time for the Krempis Roast! <laughs> Let's welcome our guest of honor. Professor Lucas Colmenero! Fair warning. He's gonna say a few words before we start, so I hope everyone's already halfway to wasted. <laughs> <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Thanks, Vin. I, uh, I wanted to announce some surprising news. No? My world renowned book. Wilder beast than these. Wait. That's not right. Uh, who? What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. The beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? Ooh! <laughs> Thank you. At least someone remembers this is a roast. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft. Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page, for real? Yes, for real, but you already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. You were right, it's working. How did he get away with this? You don't know what you're talking about. Try me. Oh. 
All right, all right, let's rein this in. <laughs> now, we wouldn't want this roast to end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> uh, continue, please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as, as a cudgel, beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. She believed in me. That's a load of horseshit, Coleman Arrow. Everything Bin Lang said is true. I should know. Because I helped cover it up. I shouldn't have, but I did. And so did this university. We all helped make sure that man never faced a single consequence. That's despicable. Horrible. Petty of you, Gwen, trying to take me down with you. Unfortunately, Dr. Hunter was just terminated for, well, highly illegal conduct. That has nothing to do with this. In fact, her very presence on this campus may be unlawful in and of itself. Gwen, we've been colleagues for years. I understand you're disgruntled, but I hope in the future you can channel your anger more productively. How fucking dare you? Wow. Sorry about that, folks. I knew this would fucking happen. What are you doing? I'm changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fess up myself. Sophie, wait. This is your chance to tell everyone your side. Shouldn't you go up there as yourself? Are you serious right now? If speaking my truth worked, we wouldn't be here. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I would know. With the rest of Caledon. Fuck. As of next year, Wilder right. will be adapted into a feature. Trust you. Film. We have to get in this time, Max. So, this is Vin's turf, not happens, mine. Friends. Make my day. Do you really think I should go up there as myself? Now, I did have some actual slides of my own, if we could... On second thought, we are just getting started. What the hell are you doing? Didn't you hear what I said? Just so your side is clear, what we can all plainly see on this slide here, it's not stealing, it's... Inspiration. Any artist can attest to getting inspiration from the work uh, of... Uh, uh, uh. Don't try that on me. You can't out-fake the faker. All of you know me. I'm bullshit. <laughs> I'm a liar and a coward, and I make decisions out of my own self-interest. Why do you think I left the stage before? Fear of justified reprisal. But fuck that. Because you pissed me off, Lucas Colmanero. This book has been uh, key Don't bother, in... I know what you're going to say. 
Your book is so important. It's helped so many people. So where's all that great, crucial, timely work lately, Professor? Why haven't you written a single thing since? I, I'm producing fine work. The trees that are slow to grow bear the best fruit. This fucking guy! Still stealing after all that! That's Moliere, dickhead! It's just a quote. Well then you can quote me on this. I don't care if it's something everyone does. I don't care if you never intended to hurt her. A girl is dead! And you're still pulling in royalty checks! You're a fucking monster! I would have made it up to her! It would have been fine, but no! That little idiot ran off and... Wait. That's not what I meant. We... We were planning to publish together. She and I had a... this means to me, Max. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! Hey! <laughs> we need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you'll want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? I'll be fine. Wait for me? I'll be over with Moses when you're ready. Lucas and Safi? That can't be good. Oh, I should let other Moses know how it went. That must have been hard for Amanda to watch. Hey, Amanda. Guess this is what you've been so distracted by. Safi's lucky to have a friend like you. Your next beer's on me. Hey. See, Diamond? Us adults are just as confused and messed up as anyone. That was wild. So that's why you needed Moses, huh? Yeah. Man. The fact that Lucas was the department chair after doing that to a student really creeps me out, you know? I really do. Let's forget about Lucas for the rest of the night and get hammered. <laughs> Sounds great. Moses trusted us, all right. Didn't question a single thing.
want to update the other Moses first. I don't want to leave him hanging. A true team effort. We got him. What I would have given to see it. How is Safi? Surprised, I think. There was a moment where things could have gone either way. It was that close. You should get back. Sure need you. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too. like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. My powers didn't backfire. No one was killed by their ghostly selves. What matters most is Maya will finally get the recognition she deserves. And maybe Safi will move on. The way she smiled at me when she came off that stage tonight. I'll never forget that. Tonight was a win. It was a lot. It's nice to have a moment to breathe. That made my entire year. Mine too. So that's what you two were planning this whole time. Wait, where's Sophie? Where's Sophie? Sophie wanted the truth, so I gave it to her. All of it. You don't even know what the fuck you just did, do you? What was that about? You lied to me. You lied to me. You lied to me. You lied to me. Sophie. You lied to me. 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 You lied to me.
Professor Miha. It's happening to her too. People's headaches are getting worse. That won't be any help right now. Does Safi know this is happening? Can you hear me? Wait for me. Almost there. Hold on, Safi. Oh, please. I was trying to say you were trying to protect me. Say it one more time. I fucking dare you. Safi, don't do Stay this. Stay back! Both of you. Safi, listen to me. The whole campus is in danger. All this time I've been trying to get justice and she's the one who's been getting in the way. Not Gwen, my own fucking mother. It was you? You canceled her book deal? The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years, since I was a kid. You deserve better than what I <laughs> did. Arcadia Bay. About the storm? 
It's happening again. I can't do this again, Sophie. I can't sit by and watch everything get wiped away. Please, don't make me. Max, she kept me from seeing my dad. And she made me think it was his idea. How fucked up is that? You don't understand. This world can be so cruel. How's this for cruel? The only time in my entire life that you were controlling me was when I wasn't even me. Habib T. Oh. Oh. oh my god. choice I've ever really had. What's happening to you? Ow. Oh, oh my god! Oh. 